Hi guys, oh shit, I'm looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> Hi guys, how's it going? My name's James from plumberparts.co.uk. Today, we're gonna look at the three steps you're gonna have to take to make sure that you get lovely shiny pipes just like these guys do on our hashtag plumproud on Instagram. Please like this video if you like it. Please comment if you've got any little tips as well as to how you're gonna make your pipes look absolutely amazing. And also, please subscribe to this video. For you guys who watch the whole video, there's some links at the end just for you about my other YouTube channel, my vlog channel that I run, where we go to random places like Chernobyl. Don't ask me why, my wife doesn't, nor should you. Anyway, let's get on with the video, guys. Remember to subscribe and remember to hold that. Oh, my belly, oh. So guys, firstly, what you wanna make sure you've done is that you've done nice solders in the first place. If you haven't done that, and you haven't cooled off your pipe nicely with the wet rag, then you know, you're not gonna get the lovely joints that you see online, and that your customers and you should be proud of. It's very important that when you go into someone's house to do work, you do work that you'd expect to be at the standard that if someone came to your house, you'd be happy with. So say if someone comes to paint your house and they get paint everywhere, all over the floor and stuff, you're not gonna be very happy, are you? So when you're going into someone's house to do some plumbing work, try to have that same approach as well. I want this to look exactly how, if I'm gonna get up every morning and look at it, that's how it's gonna look. So number one, make sure that you get good solders. If you're a DIYer who's watching our channel at the moment, I'd just like to tell you, we have over 300 videos on YouTube about plumbing, so please subscribe. But also, we've done a video about the seven ways to get really good solders, and also the one that's about seven things. There's a little sort of tidbit in there. You get seven and a half tips in that. I'll give you a half a tip for free. Oh, baby! <laughs> so number one is make sure that you do good solders in the first place, but I think that's pretty much goes without saying. Number two is once you've done your solder and you've cooled your pipe down and everything, buy yourself some fine steel wire wool. There's links to my online Amazon shop. I'll be leaving some of this wire wool in there or the equivalent fine grade type if it's a different manufacturer. I just get whatever ones there are out there. I think there's Dial and there's Oakley as well. Um, they both do just as good a job, so fine grade wire wool. Now, you don't wanna unravel all of this. Let's face it, guys, you're not gonna need all that, are you? Um, and if you want, you can actually use scissors to cut this. Um, if you use scissors, it's quite a good idea because it stops there getting loads of like frays of the, the metal fibers coming up, which you don't want. I'm just gonna go and find my uh, Stanley knife <laughs> and cut a bit off. Hey baby, do you need a poo? Right, so I'm just gonna cut this little bit off here and then I'm gonna fold back. Oh man, <laughs> don't leave your flux tub out. <laughs> In fact, we could probably do with a bit of a clear up on here anyway. Right, so as soon as you've cut that off as well, pop it back in its little and it's little thing, keep it nice and safe. And then really what you wanna do with this is make sure you just pop it back in your soldering bag. In my last few videos, I'd actually run out of it. And if you wanna see how this stuff can end up when you've used it too often, <laughs> it looks a little bit like that, not great. Um, so there we go. Right, so what we're gonna do now is we are gonna give this a quick clean up. Fold it so it's over like so, and then that'll allow you to get into the little nooks and crannies of the joints. Now, there's more than just making everything look nice, the reason that we do this. The reason we do it as well is because it lets us go through every joint and lets us look at the joint and it allows us the time to make sure that the joint has got, you know, an adequate amount of solder in there and that you don't think it's gonna leak. If you see any little gaps or maybe a dry solder, now's the time you're gonna see it when you're giving it a good clear up. Just clean as much as you can, take your time. This is the bit that when you've done a job for a customer or if you're a DIYer, whoever you're doing this for, they're gonna hopefully come home and they're gonna go, wow, that looks top bloody dollar. I can't wait to pay you. <laughs> uh, we're gonna sort of go a bit further. I mean, it looks miles better already, isn't it? Our joints look clean. Usually you've got quite a lot of distance between, you know, like a long run of copper pipe. And when you've got a long run, obviously you can just get it and give it, give it what I call the, uh, the master technique, okay? He's a dirty boy, he's a dirty boy. So yeah, oh baby. Right, so there's stage two done. We've cleaned the pipe down. We can now have a look at these joints. They all look really good, everything looks fine. Um, in fact, I'm probably gonna use this as a little doser. I make doses out of these uh, for when I wanna inhibit radiators, but there we go. This is the secret moment. Those of you who followed me at Plumber Parts for years are gonna know what I'm gonna say now. This is the secret ingredient, guys. Here it is, guys, Brasso. Brasso is what shines up those pipes great, but also Brasso's got an added benefit to it after you've left the job because it preserves the shine. Um, it allows the shine to stay for at least two weeks, which should be the amount of time 
that it takes you to get paid, but sometimes it can stay for ages. And I've done jobs at pubs that I go back to, you know, for a quick beer, where all the pipe work's exposed, you've got lovely copper months and rings and clips. And when I go back to those pubs, this is gonna sound so sad, um, I will take with me a tub of Brasso and just give them a quick clear up. It's, uh, it's incredibly sad, but there we go. So look, the idea with Brasso is you just apply, it's sort of already, it's a liquid, but when it's on these little pads, you can just run it on with the pad, okay? You apply all over, the copper pipe, just run it on, and you'll see there's like black already. And also you'll see Brasso on your fingers. I mean, run it on this pipe like here, run it all over there, baby. Hell yeah, yeah. And then that bit, that's not finished with, we can put that back into our little Brasso tub. And you know what, where my Brasso tub lives? It lives in my soldering bag, all right? Never leaves. Once it's been on for a little while, I usually use blue roll for this bit, but I haven't got any blue roll with me at the moment. So just using a bit of toilet roll. Now you've got two stages. Firstly is removing the black stage, that's what I see it as. And the second stage is buffing. So you're just gonna wang this on here. Now what I mean by removing the black bit is, if you look now at this piece, look, we've got all this dirt and crud that's coming off the pipe, but straight away we can see how much cleaner is that little bit that we've just done. How polished is that? That is incredible, isn't it? Look how good that does, that looks. Guys, you know, this is, this is how you get your pipe work to look better than your competitors. If someone goes around a house where you've just fitted a radiator and your pipe work looks like this, is this shiny? You know, they're gonna say to their, their friend, who is that? Who did you get round to do that job? You know, I mean, and also if you're a DIYer, you're probably gonna have some Brasso in the cupboard anyway, guys. Most people, most people have this in the cupboard. Um, whack this on and you know, you are gonna be, if you're a man and you live with a woman, you're gonna be on a promise, believe me, uh, when you come back, which is good because after doing all of this, your wrist is gonna be knackered. Oh yeah, now look at that shining up. Oh my God. How about that? It's a pity because I've got to take all that to the scrapyard. So there we go, guys. A very brief video today. I wanted to give you the three steps on getting really shiny pipes, just like those Instagrammers that you see out there. This is how you do it. This is how you clean your copper up. And this is how you make your solders look absolutely brilliant and all your copper pipe work. Now, if it gets painted by your customer, you can just roll your eyes and be like, well, I did my best, you know what I mean? But there you go, that, that puts you just a little bit further above the average plumber. Well done for watching throughout the whole video, guys. There's gonna be a link for the guys who've watched all the way through at the end to my vlog channel, Times of James. But before we get there, please like this video. Please comment on it if you think you've got any better ways as to how you clean your pipes up. And please click that subscribe button as well. We've got over 300 videos on YouTube. So it'd be wicked if you sort of stayed along for the ride and, uh, and saw how we all get on. Thanks very much for watching today, guys. And I'll see you in the next Plumber Parts video. Remember, there's one thing you gotta do. Hold tight.